So this video is to address uh, one comment from uh, uh, a viewer or a subscriber on my YouTube channel. And so this is to address the comment. The comment was, uh, uh, go, can you do a video on uh, the, the instructions or how to go about uh, carrying out uh, an eight resistance test okay so this video is for you and to some other people who are looking forward to that video all right so with me here is this uh alucin uh digital air tester model number em4a0d all right so uh these are things, these are some kinds of technical terms here and other stuff here. So how, how am I going to go about it? Okay, so with me here is a digital air tester user manual or instruction. Okay, so I did not manufacture this. The manufacturer thought it as wise that uh, they give you something to guide you something to help you to make use of this very uh, specific uh, digital air tester or device okay so i'm going to read about some kind of little portion about this device or digital air tester here and i will proceed to the video okay so it says introduction this tester can measure grounding resistance and AC voltage up to a 200 volt. A 2 milliamp uh, current test signal permits grounding resistance test without tripping current breakers in the circuit and the test. It can be used in the grounding, grounding resistance measurements of power system, electrical device, lightning protection device, etc it is easy to use and has a high precision okay so some kind of uh, a safety information here this tester has been designed according to iec 61010 concerning electronic measuring instruments with a measurement category cat 2 and there is a, a, an extra word there, warning to avoid possible electric shock or personal injury follow these guidelines do not use the tester if it is damaged before you use the tester inspect the case pay particular attention to the insulation surrounding the connectors okay so i will i'll skip this because this is just a warning on how to go about it when you are coming to use your Jakarta air test at the stuff that you have to pay attention to and stuff like that. Okay, this is very important, so let me go over it. It says, do not operate this Jakarta air tester around explosive gas, vapor, or dust areas. And also, do not apply more than the rated voltage, that is the 200 volts or voltage that we spoke about or we read about as marked on the tester between terminals or between any terminal and F ground. And it says, before use, verify the tester's operation by measuring a known voltage. And this also to when you are servicing and stuff like that. Okay, I will skip this one and go to um, how to use this or the specific uh, measurements concerning this uh, air tester. Actually, this is a very good air tester. Before I purchased this uh, Dekita air tester, I went on... Uh, amazon.com and i saw the um the feedback or um, customer feedback from various people from various countries it says so this 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 has an auto power off option so when let's say probably you are using it and maybe you forget yourself and leave it on for a long time it's not going to be on forever 
it will go off it has auto power off and uh it's a uh, it's a very good uh the guitar air tester i've used this since 2021 and it's uh it's a very good tool that i highly recommend for each and every uh electrician okay so i'll go ahead so it comes with other accessories okay so there are some accessories uh in the um in the package also gives information about the type of battery to be used okay so this way i'm going to go over it okay so we you you can see that uh, this this in the we call it auxiliary rod okay so and it comes with a cable with colors always we uh, as electricians we we go with colors okay so there is a color that is color red there okay and then there is another auxiliary rod driven into the ground here and it comes with a cable that is yellow and there is another cable here so on the meter there are three cables here or there are three terminals here that's a green a yellow and a, a, a red okay so we have a e f p and c cables there and so the green cable that is the f is going to the earth rod so before you begin your test you hook up and by the way let me let me put this one across if you are uh, conducting this the guitar or if you are conducting this uh, earth resistance test on a already connected uh, um, installation you need to disconnect the earth uh, conductor from the uh, distribution board or wherever you have connected uh, the earth uh, conductor to okay so let's go ahead so um uh how do you go about it do you just uh do anything that you like no okay so there's the instructions from the what the manufacturer not from the electrician okay so it says uh, uh a five to ten meter range okay so you can see that the f pits there that's the black thing here and then here i've arranged this cable so here the first auxiliary rod that is the yellow is five meters it, the, the, the range is 5 to 10 so I've chosen 5 meters you can choose 10 as you wish okay so from the earth pit or the earth rod to the first auxiliary rod the yellow cable that's uh, 5 meters and from this uh, yellow cable or the first auxiliary rod to the next one or to the last one that is the red cable that's also 5 meters so I am applying 5 meter range system here you can also choose anything from five meter to uh 10 meter the the, the meter or the digital tester will be able to read much accurate information there all right so if you are to go beyond it it will give a signal there are so many times that i took wrong measurements concerning the the distance between the earth rod and the auxiliary rods and it, it gave you you can hear uh, a beep when when you make a wrong measurement that is less than five meters is going to give you a beep and there will be a light led a red led light there to indicate that your connection is not complete or inaccurate okay so here it says checking the connections so you can see the c uh, cable that i i spoke about that is the um that is the um yellow cable 
no the c cable is the red cable that's the far end okay so it's like this the earth here then the auxiliary rods follow okay so here the c is for the uh the red cable or the last auxiliary rod and the p you can see it's in the middle that is the one close to the uh, earth pit or the earth rod and then the earth rod itself it's labeled e there okay so everything is set all, all stuff is set and i'm going to go ahead and do my testing i don't want the video to be long so i wouldn't be able to read all this here but i'm going to take a video of it so you can you can read it yourself all right okay so let me go into the video itself let me turn this one on i've already okay so before that this one uses um there's the type of uh batteries that you uh you will connect to this uh particular device okay so it says accessories it says the battery is 1.5 volt ae or equivalent six units that's six pieces okay so i have six pieces of 1.5 volts uh batteries in the ae it's labeled ae so you have to check out the type of batteries that you use as well okay so i'm going to turn on i'm not going to add test for earth voltage i'm going to carry out earth resistance test okay so i will there's the test so i'll go ahead and press on the test oh so i have 21.9 ohms here okay so in ghana what does it say per uh, our codes and regulation okay so it says anything between uh that is above one ohm to 50 ohms it's uh can be managed with an lcd or lccd that's a residual current device or a residual current circuit current breaker or a residual current circuit breaker lccd okay so here I have 21.9 actually i uh, yesterday i had uh i had a uh, 40.2 and because uh maybe probably uh i've uh, i've added water to the pit before i had the 40 there was no water in the pit i've i've i've, I've put water here. so i have i have uh, i've water let's say i've watered the uh earth rods or the earth pit so i can see the reduction in uh, resistance okay also i've uh, i've added my earth resistance uh improver compound here and uh um these are additional stuff that I, I've, I've done but other than that there is nothing new. so it has reduced by let's say uh 19 ohms okay so let's see the thing is with time is going to uh, cool up again so it's always uh, uh you do it uh such a way that it will go down but this the situation here i've already showed you the type of uh soil here there's a soil here it's uh, a mixture of some soil and uh stone so that's a crazy ground or uh, soil so um i wouldn't have a good or a low um uh, resistance here at resistance here but the thing is that's the rule the rule says if you have something higher than one ohm you add your lcd so i already have an lcd or an lccd there so it's that one is uh, already um already sorted out okay so here is the reading so the reading is simple just like the normal numbers if it were to be zero it would be zero 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 but now i have uh i have a uh, 21.9 so you can clearly see that okay so the hold 
I use the hold here. This hold, I I have to use it to hold the uh, the meter from going back to reset. If I don't hold it, the reading will go back to uh, to the normal uh, phase. Okay. And so here too, I can use this to lock it as well. Then here it has a backlight. So in the night, you can see there's a blue backlight. So in the night or when uh, you cannot see these figures, well, you can make use of the backlight there. So uh, actually this, uh, the process for uh, carrying out uh, its resistance test and actually also to tell you the type of uh, digital air tester that i use this is a very good machine um, i've used it for so many jobs even i've given it out to some other electricians to use it and that's three years and counting and uh, i'm so glad i'm so happy that i got this uh, device or digital air tester to help me with my uh, earth installation or earthing or grounding installation. So the rule is 5 to 10 meters from the earth pit or where the earth rod to the first auxiliary rod and from the first auxiliary rod to the second one. It's either 5 to 10. When you choose 5 meters, that's fine. I choose 5 meters, that's fine. When you choose 10 meters, that's fine. Or anything 5 meters up. You can use it so actually that the sun is up high the sun is up high so it wouldn't allow me to uh, capture the LED light here there is an LED light here it's green I don't know if the camera can capture it one time that I'll do it in a, a dark place I will capture this LED light so this says that uh, it's a good range if it were to be a bad range it's going to give me a red led light here and it's going to beep as well it's going to beep as well so this is a very uh a very simple and straightforward uh testing actually i know other brands are also arranged like this yeah i've, I've done a couple of testing with an energy commission inspector that i know and uh his machine is let's say a bit higher than mine but it's the same process it has the e the p and the c cable starts and he uses 10 meters per his uh his decision so i use five meter range yeah.